Hello everyone, Android Man, and welcome back to Neopets Puzzle Adventure. Last time, we decided to cover a bunch of side quests in the Lost Desert, including getting ourselves the Life Giver amulet, basically exploring a new concept of getting new equipment. And now this time, before we go to our little culinary conquest, there was something interesting I found in this shop. And it's none of these things. If we go all the way to the bottom of this, uh, we can see that there's actually more books, especially the of treasure volumes. As you can see, the Life Giver was only one of the treasures. If we want to spend like 5000 to get other amulets, we could. But right now, I am more interested in basically just buying some other books, like the Tales of the Lost Desert for 50 Neo Points. Kotazan Saga for 150. Cruz of Black and Company. And the Tale of Haban. If anything, I will cover the of treasures of tre of treasures lost, but the fact that they cost so much, it might be something I just off screen against later. So let's go into our inventory and see what those books actually have. Because to be honest, I'm ignoring that chef as much as possible. So our first book is The Tale of the Lost Desert. This book tells the story of an ancient curse that befell a city named Quasala. The book itself seems quite ancient and goes into detail about the city's royal family, going so far as to suggest that the city's king was actually responsible for the curse that befall his people. What became of the city, though, does not seem to be mentioned. Okay, so it seems like the king was responsible for something. Let's see what the Kotazan Saga is. This book recounts the saga of King Kotazan III, a brave and just warrior who governed the lost desert with a kind heart and generous soul for many years. He fought in many renowned battles and was the center of many fantastic tales. The book also recounts the events surrounding his own death, a poisoning perpetrated by a princess he had taken under his wing, wing while, uh, while her... Homeland was in toil. Since that time, a shrine has been built within the heart of the lost desert to much love King. Long rumored to be haunted, some say protected by his benevolent spirit. It also provides further information on the events surrounding the theft of his crown after his death and the coronation of one of his two daughters, Princess Amira, and his successor. So, if we we remember, Kotathan is the one that actually gave us the book to, to the, for the Life Giver. So that's actually nice to know. Now, the Tale of Oban, it actually tells us a little more of our crewmate here. It seems as if someone has seen fit to write a book about a certain event that took place on the Cryodrake scale, though it doesn't seem to specify when those events took place. It goes into some details about the loss of the ship's navigator. Hoban and how brave and handsome chef named Bonju. Hmm. A second book at the cover reveals the writer to be Mr. Bonju. Not at all suspicious. Okay, Mr. Bonju, your eagle getting more into your books? Uh, let's check the Crucial Black and Company. The tale of the Crucial Black and Company speaks of long standing feud between two pirate captains. Captain Crucial Black and Captain Scarblade. According to this, the feud has begun after both captains appeared to plunder a merchant vessel and become embroidered in their argument that they didn't notice the vessel slipping quietly away. Since then, the two have been known to exchange insults on a regular basis and less frequently launch a full-blown attack against one another. The most famous and somewhat comical of these is known as the Battle of the Calm Blue Ocean, where both captains became so embroiled in shouting match from bow to bow while at sea that neither of them noticed 
the lack of winds, both ships were simply stuck floating next to one another for a full week before the winds picked up once again and both could go their separate ways. So, a little story about the two captains. Oh well. Well, with a little more lore now just explored, it's time to stop dodging and get this cooking quest done. I haven't figured out how to cook yet, so the fact that I even have food on me and don't even know how to cook is already annoying me. And of course we still have to wait for our Kerchek to get over there. Capture card cut out there, but let's go and search for the nest. Alright, that's what we were doing. You spot a, the Chumabla nest, but it looks like the Chumabla is at home. You'll need to scare it away before you can look for some claws. Oh. Oh no. Please tell me I did not forget to unequip something. Okay, good. I didn't unequip forget to unequip. So we already went against a Chumabla, but what you've noticed is I also bought a new weapon at the weapon store and replaced it, replaced it with our sand sword. If I can get my cursor back. So what we have here is the Greater Kiko Sword. It selects a tile to remove a 3x3 grid of tokens. Affects enemy and friendly alike. There is a bad use about this, but... There's also a good use for it. So, I'm going to mention this right now. The bad use for it, I can't use it until the pet pets are awakened. So the only thing we can really use, well not even that, that is basically our ski staff after turn one. So how about we just try to get this thing defeated quickly. Okay. Take those two. I will continue trying to just... If I can... Darn it. Yeah, like I said, waiting to use the Kiko Sword might be a little taxing, but it's worth it at the end. Especially when you give me a move like that. Okay, so right now using the Kiko Sword would not be a good idea, but we've already won this based on our Juma. So we're just going to capture this and just get this straight line down. And we win! Even so, I never found myself using the sand sword that much anyway, so having something that can get rid of a 3x3 area, it can help us win a lot quickly if we need to. The Chumabla backs off a little from its nest, giving you a chance to grab a few claws it shed for Bonju. Okay, Bonju. <laughs> Other than the ego we just read in your book, here are your stupid claws that we decided to get you. Go back! Did you get the claws? Um. Do I really want to do a bad French accent? Yeah, we. I'm gonna try to do the worst French accent. Sorry for anyone who's actually French. Go back! Did you get the claws? I had to scare the Chumabla away for a little bit, but yeah, I found a few of them for you. Thank goodness! My cooking knives are getting awfully dull. I worked up. I wouldn't be able to make my famous fish and mud cake surprise for the crew tonight. I don't even want to know. Oh, no reference. First psychology won't work on me. You won't get Bonjou's secret recipe that easily. A true culinary artist doesn't simply give his secrets away. No, such art takes true talent. I need to go uh, somewhere else. Off to practice and try to best my cooking, no doubt. Okay, let's see, what are we upgrading? Um, last time we upgraded strength. 
Uh, let's get movement almost closer to that. As you wander away from Bonju, Kantari wanders up to you with a serious expression. Are you busy, my friend? Not at the moment, Kantari. Is there something I can help you with? I have been scouting the land ahead somewhat, and it appears that there is a large group of bandits near the oasis between us and Shamet. I thought I'd scared away those guys away. I suspect you may have from the small camp near to the gaze, but they seem to have several small camps around the oasis to the east. I suspect that may also be where their leader is hidden. If you fight off enough bandits from their camps around the oasis, I suspect their leader may come out to face you. Hmm. All right, Katari, I'll see what I can do. And what we can do will be on next time on Neopets Puzzle Adventure is to figure out on getting these bandits out of the... To Okay, where are we going to where these bandits are? Um, where are these bandits? Uh, hello? Am I seriously not noticing something? Um, no quest marker there, no quest marker there, no quest marker, where's the quest markers? Oh, there it is. So next time on Neopets Puzzle Adventure, we'll be going after Bandit.